Hey everybody, so I haven't made a vlog in a while, but here we go. Um, I just figured I'd make one since the US spec um, packaging and pricing for the 2015 Volkswagen Golf R has been announced today at the LA Auto Show. Figured I'd fill you guys in if you haven't been poking around on stuff like Autoblog, which is what I'm reading all this from. Uh, Volkswagen's press release. So the 2015 Golf R is going to start at $36,595. That is before the $820 uh, destination and delivery charge, which will bring your entry point in at $37,415. Pig, I'm trying to make a video. Come on. Um, anyway, so basically it's going to start out four-door only for the U.S. Initially, it's going to be DSG only, but there will be a manual available later in the model year. Unlike the Audi S3, which is going to be S-Tronic only for now, Audi has not announced any plans officially to bring the manual to the U.S. The Golf R is going to be packaged in basically two setups. You're going to have the base model, then you have a, basically it's called the DCC Plus Nav package, which gives you the uh, dynamic chassis control, which is Volkswagen speak for magnetic ride control, and um, nav. We don't get the big screen that Europe gets. It's still just like the regular Golf, it's only going to be the 5.8 inch screen. Um, but uh, same engine, transmission, everything, of course, is the Audi S3. Um, you're going to get standard bi on headlights. Um, MPG is down one tick from the Audi S3, 30 MPG highway. The S3 is 31, obviously, in case any of you are having trouble adding 30 plus 1 in your head. Um, let's see, obviously it's going to have the same, you know, ESC Sport, where you can fully disable the stability control, unlike the GTI, for example. Um, what else? So, this is kind of how it's set up. You're going to have standard drive mode selection. Again, the 5.8 inch screen, just like the GTI and the rest of the Golf lineup. Uh, LED reading lights, the media device interface, like Volkswagen Audi products, Bluetooth, obviously, CarNet, keyless entry with push button start is standard, rear camera is standard, which is interesting because it's not standard on the Audi S3. You have to get it as part of the driver assistance package. Um, you get a 12 way power driver seat is standard, dual zone climate. 18-inch um, wheels, and standard sports suspension. The optional one, which brings you in at the $39,090 price, or $39,910 with destination, gives you, like I pretty much said before, you have the um, adaptive damping, which is magnetic, 19-inch wheels, navigation, fender premium audio, and front and rear parking sensors. Uh, it kind of sucks that they force you to get the 19-inch wheels if you want nav and premium sound. Um, the Audi S3 is a lot more customizable, um, so I don't like how they kind of bundle all that together. Because for somebody like me, I want the more practical setup, which is the standard suspension and the 18-inch rims. Um, but still, it's a lot cheaper than the Audi S3. Um, and in case you haven't been able to tell from my last two videos, that's kind of what I'm really looking to step into for my next car. I don't want to lease again. I've been saving up and I want to buy my car now since I've been out of college for a while. Um, I'm still a full-time human resources manager, and um, I don't think I told you guys this, but I'm also now a part-time, as in once a week, uh, college professor. I have a computer course that I teach once a week now, um, in person, not online, so that's been kind of fun. So I've been saving up some coin, plus YouTube. That takes a huge chunk out of my monthly payment, so thank you for the support, as always. I, re I crested 3,000 subscribers not that long ago. The plan for the Fusion replacement is um, next year. I'm not going to end the lease early because I still have probably another good season left in my winter tires. And um, and plus it's no fun getting a new car in the winter time anyway because it's all cold and miserable and crappy around here. So I'm going to order it either a Volkswagen Golf R or an Audi S3 um, probably around January. Because the Audi allocations are either going to be 90 or 120 days. So that kind of puts me in the April, May uh, classification. And the Fusion's lease is up on the last day of May. So I don't mind if there's a little overlap. That's totally fine with me. Um, so that's the plan. Um, parents are divorced now. The F-150 is gone. Um, you won't be ever seeing that again. Um, just FYI on that. And... Uh, so yeah, F-150 is gone, new car next year, um, can't wait, I've really been saving up a lot, <laughs> um, that's my big huge purchase, and of course, you know, cars are the only thing in my life, so, that is what I'm going to make awesome, is my car, <laughs> um, 
So I'll be as happy as a frickin' clam with either one of those two cars. So I'll see how that all works out. I don't think I'm leaving out any particularly particular details. Just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, the US Bet Golf R. Figured now would be a good time to tell you since it's just the first day it was uploaded. Of course, this is, I'm making this video at two past midnight, so I missed it by a little bit. Um, but whatever. I have to work l later the next day, so not a big deal. Normally I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, but not tomorrow. Anywho, that's pretty much it in my neck of the woods. Um, because I'm incredibly professional, as you all know. If you want to see what you're... Would you people knock it off? Look at these two. Cheese. Leave the pig alone. Hey, cheese. I see, I see you. Yeah, okay. Anyway, because I'm incredibly professional, um, in case you guys are wondering what you've been mounted on, you guys have been propped up by this, which is a bottle of Crystal Skull Vodka. It's actually empty. But, um, that's my camera stand, and I have a mini-me version as well. So, how slick is that? Anyway, um, it's almost as good as my, um, hilarious bucket video. I made a secret car teaser clip when I was getting the Fusion. <laughs> And you can see in the Fusion's bumper that I have my camera propped over in an upside down, an upside down bucket. Um, so I use really cool camera mounts. Um, anyway, that's it for my neck of the woods. Um, keep you guys posted. Oh, the Fusion's been working fine since I made those like series of like four videos of sync getting totally fucked up for two weeks. That was really weird. It's like it got really jealous that I drove the Daytona Package S3, so it decided to break. Then when it heard I was driving another Audi S3, it's like, oh shit, maybe he isn't kidding, so I better get myself fixed. And through no part of my own, I did not bring the car into the dealership or anything like that. Um, randomly started working again. It's weird because it, it was screwed up for like a week. I put iOS 8 on the phone. It was still screwed up for like another week, and then it magically started working again. So it's not like it was iOS 8 related or anything like that, so I don't know what the hell was wrong with it. But, um, that's been fine. The auto flick to start hasn't screwed up since. Um, maybe it was just PMSing. I don't know. But, okay. Now I'm done. So I'll catch you guys later. And, uh, yeah. See you later. Thanks. Bye.